What's up guys, happy Friday. So today I had an idea that I'm gonna do every Friday, free plugin Fridays. And that's gonna be where I'm gonna review and give a tutorial on a free plugin that you can get off of Splice or the internet or whatever. Just going on the company uh, websites and you can download their free plugins. There's a lot of great free plugins out there. And I'm gonna go through a different one every Friday. So for the first episode, we gotta do Camel Crusher. Camel Crusher is the greatest fucking free plugin ever, in my opinion, I love it. Um, so let's get into this and I'll show you guys how to use it and what it does. All right guys, so I have in here Silent One with my little sound bank that I released back in October. It's a free bank. I'm posting a link to it below. So if you wanna download it, it's got 11 sounds. It's got three bass, four leads, three plucks, and a pad. Right now I'm using lead three, Simplicity. It's pretty simple and it's like literally very fucking simple. Just saw in a square wave. All right, so you can hear already. I'm gonna shut Camel Crusher off. A little million voices for you guys. It's right around negative 12 dB. All right, I'm going to just reduce the volume because it's going to be really fucking loud. So, you can see already that it's pretty well compressed sound already, even without Camel Crusher. There's really no difference between the peak and the RMS level. You can see there's no uh, light green. Right there, it's really not um, of a widespread, not that much dynamics to the sound. So I, I'm gonna turn on Camel Crusher and I'm just gonna show you guys what everything's doing. All right, so first we have the master, which is pretty self-explanatory. It is volume, which is gonna be the output, and the mix, which is gonna be a dry wet. We also have the filter. It's off right now, but if we turn it on, this is basically what it is, all right? So the res is all the way down. So if the res was all the way up, it would be doing something like this to the sound, all right? And the cutoff is gonna be all the way up if it was on, and it would be like this. And if you turn the cutoff all the way down, it would be like this. So that's like a visual representation of what's happening. All right. So next is the compressor. We have fat mode and just regular. Um, the amount, depending on what um, compressor you're using, the amount could be the input, it could be the threshold. So I have it on fat mode. I really don't know the exact science behind what's happening with fat mode, but you can just hear the difference and you can see the difference. I'm gonna shut fat mode off. It's way more compressed. I'm leaving it on for now. So you also have two different types of distortion. You have tube and mech. I don't know if it stands for mechanism or mechanical mechanic distortion whatever i have no mech on there and i have a little bit of tube you can put both on and i'm going to show you guys what's happening with each distortion um this might not be the best lead we'll do the generic saw so this is the generic saw without camel crusher The tube just adds more color to it, more high end, and uh, just like the cherry on top right there. And the mechanic, or the mech, let's just call it that. It's also compressing it while adding distortion, so I'm just going to leave a little bit on of the tube. You can see that it's reading that it's actually louder without the Camel Crusher, but it's being perceived louder with the Camel Crusher on. Alright, and there's also presets. There's a randomized button that's just going to randomize all the knobs. You can keep pressing that. And there's all these presets. I usually use British Clean or sometimes more Beef. And for other sounds like basses, I use a bass maker. But Annihilate's pretty cool, too. So that's it, guys. That's Camel Crusher. That's how you use it. That's what it does to the sound. I hope you liked the video. If you did, you know what to do. Subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.